there was some technical issue beta that's why we got disconnected and i'm going to restart from where we left so i was saying use adjectives and imagery as much as possible to create the impact of interest and curiosity fine in the second paragraph now a setting is there a plot development plot what is a plot plot means series of events plot development is done in second paragraph means plot is a series of events find your story uh, you started the you introduce the characters background or the beginning of the story in the first paragraph then you will be developing it more further by adding up some elements find and use dialogues add dialogues in second and third paragraphs you can add dialogues in your story but you have to put inverted commas on the dialogues which you are using find that narrator said i have lost my path for my inverted comma start i'm not able to find the path and my phone is also not working what shall i do oh god help me full stop comma closes and suddenly when you're narrating the story then write it without commas and suddenly thunderous light fine in that way you will be explaining the story plot development add dialogues yes beta don't talk clear uh, then what else you can add up here create suspense create curiosity in the story make it more interesting above all you have to form a problem create fine otherwise what will be the solution to the problem that is the ending of the story so in second uh, paragraph uh problem to be discussed in the life of the protagonist who is the protagonist the main character fine uh let me just the camera for you problem of protagonist to be discussed that then koi bhi hai suppose hard work ke upar story aap likh rahe ho anything you are writing so problem to be discussed here fine then create suspense and curiosity also theek hai bar bar maine aapko bola hai kuch aisa hona chahiye that you we need to guess it ki what next fine and after that third paragraph goes towards the conclusion of the story jisme uh problem is resolved fine problem gets resolved in the third paragraph climax this ko aap keh dete ho the way you just watch a movie in characters are introduced background batai jati hai kaun si country mein hai wo de dikhaya jata hai na this is what happens in the stories also and then they start telling us about their lives and the problems some persons are just facing some diseases some people are you know having good time and then bad times and up and downs in that way and then finally the the problem is resolved try to make your story based on some theme that will be better but it's not always there sometimes the story just for the sake of story also there is no theme in it clear you need to add dialogues into it kon kon se elements daloge adjectives imagery dialogues theme should be there problem and its climate so these are the elements of a good story writing and introduce more characters in second paragraph zaruri nahi do character pe puri story chal rahi hai you can add three four more characters as per your imagination clear fine so what sort of questions mcq based can be there on writing skill i just told you that it can be about the word limit that in how many words you write a story 100 words is it correct is it correct 100 word story 20 word story is it correct 50 words is it correct 150 words yes so it's a story it's not a short writing skill yes short story is there but at least 150 words are required in that then what what is the title of the story uh, two lines are given to you then finally uh, neeraj was able to find the path back to his home fine then uh, 
the story is about conviction the story is about finding path they can be confusing options also clear two answers and they both seem to be true then you have to apply your brains and which is correct which is more correct clear so in that way word limit ke upar uh, what should be the title of the story fine in that way few lines are written that in the ghastly night mirage lost his way and he kept running here and there and finally after so many efforts he found the path back to his home so just a title for this story fine so four titles whichever you find the apt one suitable one that will be the answer in the mcq and if it is a subjective that you have to write the story clear any doubt in story writing shall i discuss the another writing skill now everybody has noted down value points of story writing so let me discuss paragraph writing this in term 1 beta yes pushti tell me what is written in term 1 short writing skill and descriptive paragraphs so we will be doing descriptive paragraph and there are n number of descriptive paragraphs persons places events anything but in your syllabus what is specified it is based on describing a person it is again a short writing skill it is not a long one paragraph writing describing a person so recently we have done this now you tell me i'll be asking you you will be telling me i will be writing value points children sitting at home can raise hand i'll unmute you and you can speak with us so what is the first and foremost value point what should be there when we describe a person raise your hand yes tatiksha first point an introductory statement about the person name adjective or curiosity so tatiksha has given one word to us introductory statement about the person so this should be there the person whom we are going to describe we will be giving one introductory statement example de sakte ho titiksha ma'am such as name adjective use use name adjective or curious uh, make it curiosity so you can give one example to us uh, a fair color girl named sia what like this like this okay a fair color a fair color. it's not fair color it's fair complexioned word is that fine in that way you can mute yourself good you tried so she is saying use adjective and name of the person and tell one introductory statement should be there yes so naisa has one line for us yes let me give the one example of this firstly introductory statement about the person a fair complexion girl sia fine what next divya only this will we we'll describe about the person that is the introduction she has told a fair complexion girl sia who is very hard working is my best friend anything can be there fine so by using the adjective you can introduce the person or you can tell the trait of that person is the topper of the class fine aapne kya highlight karna hai uski qualities karni hai that that can be the first point on also so second thing yes unaisa now you speak so unaisa told us secondly after giving introductory statement we'll talk about the appearance of that person and what comes in physical appearance we talk about height we talk about face shape what else eyes nose hair color of hair long length of hair short cropped in that way clear if you are not able to see children you have already noted down 
यस क्लियर इंट्रोडक्टरी स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द पर्सन अपियरेंस में यू टेक यू टेल अबाउट द हाइट फेस शेप ओवल शेप राउंड शेप स्क्वायर शेप आईज बिग स्मॉल राउंड शेप इन दैट वे नोज पॉइंटेड और बटन लाइक then here short no, long or after that crop clear then comes expressions facial expressions kaise hote hain lisa batao pleasing smiling face scornful grumbling some people they keep on smiling they have smiling face some people always keep on grumbling they have scornful expression on the face scornful is when you just move your eyebrows and you keep on like the feeling of hate is shown on your face that you can discuss yes dipkirti what next personality what comes in personality that whether the person is polite rude pleasing or jolly kind of person fine so whether the person is the person has pleasing personality or annoying the personality or jolly in nature so yes introvert extrovert titiksha abhi aap seedha last mein pahunch gaye ho wait karo abhi hum kar rahe hain personality traits yes Yes, that is another point. Yes, habits. Early riser, late riser. Health, fitness freak, health conscious in that way. Fine, in that way. I'm just giving you one example. We have just done it. After that, achievements, if any. If you're talking about your friend, you can tell about the prizes he or she has attained. Fine achievements that she always stands first in the class. You'll be using simple present tense. Fine, she always bags first position in the class. She has also, uh, uh, you know, won many prizes in elocution. What is elocution? No. it is related to literary activity it's a speech only fine i when i use different words you should ask me ma'am what are you using here it is a kind of speech only fine elocution so she has bagged many prizes in elocution that is speech attire also that she always wears good clothing formal clothing casual kuch log casual dalte hain the t-shirt kidhar ja rahi hai aise Fine, very casual appearance they have. In that way, you can talk about the attire of that person also after the achievement casually. Then, then concluding remark about the person that though my friend uh, is very casual, but I like her the way she is. I love my best friend in a very easy way. The class one child can write it. it can be anything if you are writing about your father that my father is my life my father is my ideal and i wish that i can become like him fine so that is the concluding remark about the father about mother about anything clear try to make it positive one but it can be another level also but don't you know start writing in a very bad way that it goes to some another level only so uh, what sort of persons you can describe let's describe a farmer farmer agitation is at peak these days you know that we have done brother sister sibling uh, friend and all let's describe a farmer it's a profession but it's a person only yes what can be the introductory statement of a farmer anyone हार्ड वर्किंग इज स्ट्रेट बेटा उसका बाद में इंट्रोडक्टरी स्टेटमेंट द वन हू फीड्स वन एंड ऑल इज नन अदर देन अ फार्म क्लियर सो दिस शुड बी द वे क्लियर द वन हू फीड्स 
one and all one and all mean each and every person the one who feeds to one and all is none other than a farmer so this is the introductory statement after that beta what you will do appearance a farmer can it is a casual beta you not you are not going to name any particular person here so a farmer always wears formal clothing or informal casual yes a farmer can always be seen in casual clothing specifically a vest and a dhoti fine vest vest is bane and that they wear v e s t so he can normally be seen in this uh, attire fine and then after here you cannot talk about that a farmer is you know short heighted or in that way because this is we not talking about a particular farmer here in general then what will you do you will basically concentrate upon the traits or quality a farmer is or he is very hard working always ready to work in the scorching heat ab humne yahan pe adjective udhar udhar laga diye always ready to work in scorching heat for the sake of others और क्या ट्रेड्स होते हैं फार्मर में अ फार्मर इज ऑलवेज फुल ऑफ पेशेंस बिकॉज आफ्टर सोइंग द सीज एंड आफ्टर यू नो गिविंग वॉटर एंड आफ्टर वेटिंग फॉर ईयर और टू ही हैज फुल पेशेंस इन हिम ही हैज कंप्लीट पेशेंस एज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ट्रेड्स ऑफ हिज पर्सनैलिटी बिकॉज ही वेट्स फॉर द फुली ग्रोन क्रॉप फाइन एंड देन और क्या लिख सकते हो फार्मर के बारे में आप बाय सीइंग अ फार्मर यू कैन इजीली टेल दैट इज अ फार्मर इज ऑलवेज इन अ वेरी सिंपल ड्रेस हैविंग बुल्स और ट्रैक्टर्स अराउंड रेडी टू वर्क विद सॉइल नेवर फील्स बैड व्हेन हिज हैंड्स गेट हर्ट और सॉइल्ड Fine. So this is a simple thing, an early riser. This is one of the habit because a farmer has to be an early riser. Only then he will be working in the fields. So, ah, uh, being early riser, he is always on his toes. Also, you can say, always on his toes to work hard, truthful towards his crops. Yes, Raghav Kumar, right, beta. Clear. So you will conclude that no farmer. no food these days this uh, is going on you can see on the cars and on vehicles so without farmers we cannot expect food to be grown so we should respect farmers so in you know, that way you can give concluding remark i hope it is clear to all of you have a nice day